Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to New York and the third annual meeting of the CBI. In keeping with our preference for no speeches or short speeches, I will be quite brief. I'm delighted to have you back and to give a brief report about what's happened since our first meeting. Commitments have been made by hundreds and hundreds of participants in these CGI sessions, impacting tens of millions of lives in more than 100 countries. Among the things which have come out of the commitment, gas emissions have been avoided. More than 850,000 children under the age of five have received life-saving health services. Three million more micro-entrepreneurs have access to capital. And with many of our smaller commitments, large numbers of lives have been changed for the better or safe. There are nearly 1,300 CGI members in this room today, including world leadership in government, business, academia, philanthropy, and the NGO community. You come from 72 countries. And I'm honored that we're joined by 52 current and former heads of state. I believe the fact that a real difference has been made by the people in this room and lives all across the globe shows how much more we have to do. And the premise of CGI is that we are faced with complex problems that government either is not solving or that government alone cannot solve. Problems like climate change, global health epidemics, poverty and growing income inequality, the lack of education. Those are the topics we'll primarily discuss. We have to find ways to devote more time, money, skills, organization building. We can help more people and save more lives if we do. We can deal with the fact that the world is the devil by persistent and growing inequality, insecurity, and unsustainability. Everyone here has a different story, a different background. We inhabit different corners of the earth in different ways. But what has brought us together and what connects us is nearly as I can determine are three basic convictions. First is, just about everybody in this room believes that our common humanity is more important than our interesting differences. I believe this simple issue is at the root of most of the world's conflicts. In almost every corner of the world where people are fighting instead of working together, they have reached the decision that our differences are more important than our common humanity. The second thing that brings us together is we seem to all accept our shared responsibility for correcting as much as we can the current challenges of the world and passing along a better world to our children. And the third is we can make a difference. It turns out there are a lot of people who can't fit in this room or can't afford to come who agree with us. Last year we webcast this meeting for the first time without any publicity and about 50,000 people followed it over the internet. Hundreds of them made their own individual commitments just writing in. So this year, or emailing it, so this year we tried to broaden that. We are, again, webcasting the Clinton Global Initiative, but this year we're giving everybody who's watching this in any form or fashion or following it through any kind of media the chance to participate by making their own commitments. We set up a separate website called mycommitment.org to give the opportunity to people in the United States and all over the world 
the chance to be a part of our common endeavors, to follow just as you will the sections in education, economic empowerment, climate change, and health care, and decide what they want to do, how they want to do it, and register their